What's up guys, this is iTweaks here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to send iMessages directly from your PC. So if you guys know or if you don't know, this is actually something that's been native to the Mac, but you never really could send iMessages from your PC. But with the help of remote messages, that's exactly what you're going to be able to do. So the reason that this is helpful and convenient is just because, I mean, you just have that app or that user interface on your computer rather than having to always text on your device. So when you're on your computer, then you can just use your computer and you can just click on your messages, send out a message you know, to whoever and all those conversations and everything, I mean, even the ability to uh, attach photos from your photo library from your device is available with this tweak. So I'm gonna show you how to do this. It's really simple to set up. So if we go ahead and go into our settings here and then we tap on remote messages, You'll notice that this is the setup panel. So we just want to make sure that this is enabled right here and then you have a current IP. So this is gonna be your IP right here. So now we have a server port. Now this might be blank, I'm not quite sure when I downloaded this if this was blank or not, but if it is, just type in a port right here. I'm using 333. And then right below that we also have use authentication. So if you want to make sure that you're the only one uh, connecting to this device, to those conversations, then make sure that you use authentication by toggling this on, which is highly recommended. And then right here, down here, you can you know set up your username and your password. Right now, I just have it set up as username admin and then password as admin. Scrolling down here, we also have a use SSL, which is experimental. Uh, I'm not using that right now, and if you want to, sure, you can give it a shot, but just keep in mind that, of course, it is experimental. And if you want to send crash reports, then you can do so just by toggling that on. If you have any issues or anything like that, you can always visit their website, but I'm gonna walk you through the process right here, and it's really straightforward. If we go over here and just open up Chrome, all we wanna do is type in this address right here. So 192.168.0.100, and then we're gonna type in the port. So you wanna put colon 333. Hit enter, and then you should get a pop-up right here uh, asking for your credentials I've actually already logged in so you can see that I'm not getting that right now just because I've already verified myself but this is exactly what it looks like so you can see that we have all of our conversations over on the right hand side if you want to you can set up to where it's showing the actual uh, contact picture as well which I have set up right now and then right down here we also have some options so you can see that we can attach a photo and if we click on that this is going to come directly from your camera roll as you can see right here. So these are all the pictures that I have on my device. And then if you click right here on the down arrow, you can go through all the different uh, albums that you have right here, just so it's a little easier to find the picture that you wanna send. Of course, you can always just attach a photo directly from your computer, so you can just click on browse right here, and it's gonna bring up a window that you would normally see on Windows to attach a photo or a file. And then right here, you can start a new conversation. Over here is where you're gonna have your settings. So, these are all gonna be unchecked by default, but you can see that you have some options to enter to send, replace text with emoticons uh, mm -hmm. with emoji. You also have, I mean, there's a ton of different options that you have right here. Coming down here, we also have sounds as well as notifications if you wanna do that. This is experimental, so keep that in mind. You can also change up the appearance if you wanna mm -hmm. do that. So you can change the font from Arial to Veranda to La Cita Grande, or however you say that. You can also change the theme. So you have iOS, which doesn't really look like iOS. I guess it does a little bit, the conversations do. Uh, but you can see right here, if we go to seven, then it's gonna move the contacts over to the left-hand side. So I mean, it's really just depending on your preference and how you like it set up. This is probably the one that I would actually go for. Uh, but we're gonna close out of this and I just wanna show you that this is going to work. So I'm gonna open up my own conversation with myself here and then I'm gonna type something out right here. So I'm just gonna say, hey, what's up? And you can see when I hit enter, it's actually going to pop up right there. So I mean, this thing is flawless. It works seamlessly and it's very quick. So you don't have to worry about, you know, any type of lag or anything like that, this is something that's going to work very well on your PC. So that's how easy it is to set up remote messages on your PC. So this is definitely something that I have installed and I would use it a whole lot if I didn't have a Mac. So if you only have a PC, I would highly recommend checking this out for yourself just because it's very, very convenient, especially if you talk on iMessage a lot. So let me know what you guys think about remote messages in the comments below. And of course, if you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button. 
If you guys want to see more of my videos on everything jailbreak as well as everything Apple, make sure you subscribe. All right, guys. Until next time, peace.